Hi, everyone. I'm Lily. And I'm Max. We're here to have some fun today. Hello, kids. I'm Toby, your learning buddy. Are you ready to learn about colors? I created this video in just 30 minutes, and believe me, I don't have any knowledge of 3D animation. I used only one tool called Create Studio to create this video. And today, I will share the step-by-step -step creation of the video with you. So, watch the video till the end. Let's dive in. This is the Create Studio 3 interface, the most powerful 3D animation creator platform. Now, you can create videos in three ways. The first, and this is where you get the most value from this software, is the templates. So if you're someone who creates lots of videos, promotional videos, content for social media, maybe for work, and you quickly want to have something that you can put up quickly, they have these templates. As you can see right here, they have a bunch of templates for different kinds of themes that you can simply edit. The second way you can build out your scenes is with the Lightning Builder. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it right here. What this does is it helps you build out your scenes sequentially by allowing you to choose the different components you need for your entire storyline. I'm going to click on Standard Video, and this time around, I'm going to choose Jack. What you see is that it gives you a bunch of different types of scenes that you can choose, and then you select the ones that best suit the needs of your storyline. For example, I can add this scene for the opener, and then let's say I like this scene right here where they're on a boat. I'll probably try to create something for a YouTube kids channel or whatever it is. All right. Now let's see how we can actually create a 3D Kids story video with Create Studio from scratch. First of all, we need a story if you already have a story, then it's good. Otherwise, you can generate a story with ChatGPT like me. Okay, our story is ready. Now to bring live this story or script, head over to Create Studio and click on New Project right here on the top. So that's going to open a brand new project, and as you can see, everything is blank. We're going to start building it out from scratch. There are several things you can do on your new project. As I said, this tool is used for a vast amount of different use cases. But what we're interested in doing today is building out our 3D character using what they have right here that says 3D Creator. If you don't want to use the 3D Creator, you can go to Characters. They have pre-custom designed characters right here. These do not have lip syncing. To use the ones that you can customize, you want to click right here on 3D Creator. As you can see, they have seven different sample characters for you to use. Don't worry, we can customize them to create our own character. We have to download the character that we want to use. I already downloaded the character. You will find a small download icon here. Just click here to download the character. Once the character is downloaded, just drag and drop to the timeline. I am going to start with Bella and just drag and drop him right here on the timeline. So we have our character now loaded on the timeline. If we want to edit our character to move it in 3D space, just click on the little rotate icon right there. Now you can see we can change the position around 3D space to put him in whatever position we want him to be in. I'm going to reset that back to normal. Now, if you look to your left right here, there are several options of things that you can customize on the character, from his shirt to his pants, shoes, hats, facial features, and even color and skin tones. There are several things you can do. According to the story, we have three characters, Lily, Max, and Toby. I will design this character as like Lily. First, I will select this top. Next, in the bottom, I will use this one. After that, you can choose shoes, hair, hats, and other accessories. Give proper time to design your character. Okay, our first character is ready. Now another important issue. You can save this character as a preset to use later. Just right-click on the character and select Save as Preset. All right, our first character is ready. Now I will add the second character. Click on the small studio icon from here and enter the 3D Creator. Next, for the Max character, I will use Danny's character. After adding the character, customize the character as the first one. Once the character is ready, save it as the preset. Next, I will select Lenka for the character of Toby. After adding the character, customize it, and save it as preset. Our characters are ready. Now let's move forward to the next step. All right, next we're going to talk about adding backgrounds to your scenes. To do that, you want to head back to Studio, and then right here over the green icon, it says Backgrounds. Click on that, and as you can see, there's a wide variety of backgrounds that you can use. If you don't like any of the backgrounds here, you can simply import your own media by going to Media right here, then clicking on Import and you can drag that into your scene. But in my case, 
I'm going to head back to the existing backgrounds. According to the story, the first scene should be a bright and colorful classroom, so I am searching for a classroom on the search bar. And here it is. You can notice a vast number of classroom backgrounds. Now download one of them, drag it to the timeline, and then adjust the size and positions. Now I will change all the character names according to our story. Lily for Bella, Max for Danny, and Toby for Lenka. Okay, now we have to set the action to our character. According to the story, our characters are giving the introduction to make it fun and interesting. I will add some action for every character. Let's start with Lily's character. The default action of any character is idle. To change the action, click here. Now you can change the action from here or add a new action. If you add a new action, you will notice that it is added after the first action. So, you can create multiple actions to make engaging animation. For Lily's character, I will use happy as the action. Next, I will add action to Max's character. Now you can notice that our character is wiped out once the action is finished. To keep them on screen, we have to add another action for each. I will add an idle action for both. Now let's talk about Toby's character. To make it perfect, I will add walking action to Toby. Now you can notice, it's walking in a single place. To solve this issue, I will use animation. First of all, set the positions of the frame. Now click on the add animation from here. You can notice that two keyframes have been added to the character timeline. Set the second keyframe near the last of the action. Now bring the character to extract the position you want to keep. That's perfect. I will add another idle action to the character. Next, we're going to cover how you can add lip syncing and make your characters talk. We're going to start with Lily, and to add your voiceovers, you have to head right here where it says music, and then click on the tab that says speech. Now, there are about three ways you can add sound to your characters. You can either type it in to do a text-to-speech, you can also head over to the record tab and record what you want the characters to say, or you can upload your pre-existing audio in the media section. I'm going to go ahead and use the speech option. There are two options here. There's Google, and if you have a subscription to this, the Google one is free. But this one right here. If you have a higher tier subscription, you can use this. And these are just more realistic sounding vocals. So in my case, I'm going to use this advanced text-to-speech, and what I want to do is simply just paste in here what I want the character to say. According to the story, she is just going to say, Hi everyone, I'm Lily. Then, once you do that, you want to select the particular voice that you want him to use. In my case, I'm going to use Shelby, and then let's generate that to hear what that sounds like. So it's done, and I'm going to preview that. Hi everyone, I'm Lily. All right. That sounds good to me, so I'm going to click on Import. So we have Lily's character right here. I'll right-click that and rename that to Lily Intro. Now to add this voiceover and sync with Lily's character, simply click and drag that to the timeline. To sync up the audio with what your character is saying, just right-click on the audio right there and then say Sync With. And then you can select whichever character you want it to sync with. In our case, the character is called Lily, so I'm going to click on Lily, and lip syncing should now be enabled with this audio. Hi everyone, I'm Lily. That's great. Her lips are now in sync with what the character is saying. Now I will repeat the process for Max and Toby's character. After adding the voiceover and syncing with the character, we have to adjust the timeline. I will set the Max voiceover once Lily's voiceover ends, and in the end, I will set Toby's voiceover. Now according to the voiceover, I will set the action duration. Okay, let's have a look. Hi everyone, I'm Lily. And I'm Max, we're here to have some fun today. Hello kids, I'm Toby, your learning buddy. Are you ready to learn about colors? Now it's perfect. All right, so we have this somewhat looking great, and all of this is one of our scenes. I'm going to create a second scene, but the next thing we want to do is actually group this into a scene. The way you do that is just click and drag all of this to the bottom, then right-click and click on Group. So as you can see, this has all been grouped into one scene. I can right-click on this and just click on Rename and call this Scene 1. Okay, now let's create the second scene. Come to the Studio tab and add the background. Next, add the characters one by one. Now, as we already created presets for our characters, replace them with the characters. After that, add the required actions. Okay, we are done. Now create voiceover for all of the characters. 
Once it is done, sync with the characters and place it according to the story. You can add various elements like shapes, emojis, text, doodles, and many more. Once you are done, group the scene and then rename the scene as Scene 2. In this way, create other scenes. For the tutorial purposes, I am doing only two scenes. Now, another important part is music. Yes, add music as per demand. And yes, don't forget to add sound effects to make the video more engaging. In the end, you can add effects, components, or transitions to your video. Once you are done, hit the publish button to render the video. It will take some time to render. Let's first forward this part. And here it is. Our video is ready. Let's have a look. Hi everyone, I'm Lily. And I'm Max, we're here to have some fun today. Hello kids, I'm Toby, your learning buddy. Are you ready to learn about colors? Let's start with the color red. Can you name these red things? That's an apple and a fire truck. And a strawberry, I love strawberries. Great job, Max and Lily. Red is the color of things that can be really exciting, like a fire truck or a juicy apple. So, now you can create any kind of 3D animation with Create Studio. This animation maker software is the most powerful software I have ever seen for beginners. So, don't forget to try this tool. Link in the description. All right, friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear your opinion about Create Studio. Share your thoughts and results in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy creating.